you're typing it right now because you are a demented individual. I'm not a Nintendo YouTuber, but there is some Nintendo news going on. So I figured I would talk about it since you didn't seem too interested in my Gran Turismo 2 video. Go watch it. That's one of my crown jewels here on the channel. I tried hard with that one. I tried hard. But there are a couple Nintendo stories going around out there right now. Some more valid than others. So we're going to talk about them in today's video. If this is your first time here, welcome. Hit that subscribe button. But let's just get into the news. So the first story we're going to talk about is something that's been on the internet for a day or two now. And it has to do with a patent discovery. Now, allegedly, this patent was found by a fellow YouTuber named Mike Odyssey. He made a video on it, and then a bunch of websites started doing write ups for the patent. Now, what does this patent involve? Well, it depends. It depends on who you ask. Some people think this involves a Nintendo Switch 2. Some people think it involves a new Nintendo Switch dock. Some people think it's just a concept that was put out there by Nintendo just in case they wanted to make something like this. Now, the whole crux of the patent is basically just the way that the wires go into it. They go in at different angles. If you know anything about a Nintendo Switch dock right now, everything is very stationary on it. You can't really move any of the pieces except to open up the little flap on the back of it in order to access your different slots to put your various cables into. This essentially kind of makes it like a Lazy Susan. I don't know why they call it a Lazy Susan. I used to have a friend named Susan. She was pretty cool. She wasn't very lazy either. Shout out to Susan, but she makes me mad. Um, but like it, it's essentially like a swivel, and it, it swivels around so that you can insert your cords, insert your cables at different angles. Now, this patent was originally published back in 2022, but recently was updated to have some new stuff within it. So that's where the whole Switch 2 sort of thing comes into play. Now, as far as this being a part of the Nintendo Switch 2. I mean, maybe, but my holdup with it is that this is a patent that has been published. You know, we don't get every single patent that comes out of Nintendo in a timely manner. Some people are looking at the patent drawings themselves and trying to draw some conclusions from them. But even if you look at patents that were verified as actually being something that was real, a lot of the stuff with The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, like Link's uh, different physics mechanics that were added into that game, we learned about them through patents before the lead up to the release of the game but looking at those drawings they're extremely crude they're not going for necessarily an accurate representation of what the hardware is going to look like so if it looks slightly different than the nintendo switch we have now that would kind of be the reason why it's not supposed to be a one-to-one -one replication well okay if it's not for the nintendo switch 2 well maybe it's for the current nintendo switch and i mean once again like like maybe but that whole argument kind of hinges on the fact that why would they release a new dock that just has a swivel on it at the end of the system's life cycle i don't care what anyone says this system is at the end of its life cycle look at the software library look at the lack of hype surrounding what they're doing in 2024 like yeah the games themselves are fine but that's it they're just fine they're not what we're used to seeing from nintendo when it comes to first party offerings so to me to update the dock and just have it with the swivel doesn't really make sense at the end of the system's life cycle and that really leads us with the third option, that this was just an idea that Nintendo had potentially for the Nintendo Switch, and they just decided to never go through with it, but they wanted that patent on record just in case somebody came along and tried to make something similar, which to me... You know that's probably the most logical option here i'm not saying that it has that it's not a part of nintendo switch 2 maybe it is and maybe the nintendo youtubers saying that it is maybe they're right you know I, that's fine but in my personal opinion because well this is my video pal you know you're not going to get that answer out of me i definitely think that this was just an idea that they wanted to go through and you know you have to keep your patents updated you have to keep them up to date so that they don't expire because patents expire like and trademarks expire it, I, I guess people like never took a, a basic business course or something like that you have to keep these things up to date in order for them to be activated or else people will just patent every word and every idea out there so that they could sue at some point down the road if somebody tried to do it 
That's just my opinion on it, though. I think it's much ado about nothing. But what do you think? Are they making the Nintendo Switch Lazy Susan? And that is going to be the name of the next system whenever it releases in 2025. Let me know what you think about it in the comments section down below. And finally, we have an interesting survey that Nintendo recently put out there that has some people hopeful that a potential lost franchise that Nintendo has could be coming back. And no, I'm not talking about F-Zero. Let's just go ahead and look at this survey together. Some people were sent this, some people were not sent this, but this is basically the survey about the games from the Paper Mario series, the Mario and Luigi series, and Super Mario RPG. Before answering the survey, have you heard of any of these Mario games? You could see here that they have pictures of them, and then basically why you like to play these games. Now, uh, you know, right off the bat, you're like, oh, okay, what's the big deal? You know, these are older games that have come out before. You know, what does it really mean? Well, that's the thing. Mario and Luigi was developed by a team, um, Alpha Dream, I believe that was their name. And Alpha Dream, well, they no longer <laughs> exist. They, they went under. And yes, Nintendo still owns the property. But Alpha Dream was the company that was making these games. We have not seen these games. Well, since 2013 it's been 11 years since we got a mario and luigi uh rpg game now if you've ever played these games before they take some of the mechanics from like super mario rpg but it's definitely a bit of a different style i've actually played these games and I i've really enjoyed them i played the original one or not the original one uh here on the game boy advance but i definitely played partners in time i really liked that game i thought it was super fun but that's been a very long time since i played it and basically when you look at these options they all focus on paper mario super mario rpg and mario and luigi now paper mario is of course had new games and is getting a remaster with a thousand year door super mario rpg you know that's a game that just came out on the switch maybe super mario rpg 2 could be potentially cooking as well but i think the big takeaway from this is that they're acknowledging the mario and luigi games so what does this mean is nintendo potentially dusting off this franchise and maybe giving it to a new team or doing it in-house i mean there's definitely potential for that but i'm not quite sure how far that potential will go because Nintendo likes to do stuff like this because you have things like Game Boy Advance Online. I'm not sure if Mario and Luigi's on there. I'm pretty actually I'm pretty sure it's not on there. So this could be something as small as that as potentially putting Mario and Luigi um, from the Game Boy Advance onto Nintendo Switch's online service and they want to see if people would even care about it. I definitely think people would care about it. If that's to say, if it's not on there, I'm pretty sure it's not on there. If it is on there, though, that just gives more sort of credence to this, that this could be an absolute nothing burger because of the fact that, well, I mean, we, we don't know about a new Super Mario RPG. We just had that one that released, of course, the original Super Nintendo version and then the Nintendo Switch version. That doesn't necessarily mean it's a green light for a sequel to these, but it is very interesting. It's something worth venturing into because I would actually be very interested to see how that franchise would do with more power. I mean, we can just look here and, you know, they've never done a console version of these. You had Game Boy Advance, 3DS, um, Nintendo DS, 3DS, 3DS. Damn, they did three of those games on the 3DS, the the uh, Mario, the Superstar Saga with Bowser's Minions, Inside Story plus Bowser's Journey, and then Mario and Luigi Dream Team. I guess two of them were older, but I would be interested to see how these games translate over into the console side of things because, well, there hasn't been a console one of these, and I think that would be kind of cool if you could kind of expand upon it. You know, obviously, stuff like the Game Boy Advance and the DS, somewhat limited. Even the 3DS was somewhat limited in its te technical capabilities. So whether it be for this system or the next system or something like that, I would definitely like to see Nintendo return to this. But once again, you know, how do you position this with stuff like Super Mario RPG, the Paper Mario games, all these sort of offshoot Mario games that we're starting to get? Or maybe they're just going to remake Paper Mario Color Splash. Y'all be hating, we getting cash. You have to be on Nintendo YouTube for a very long time to get that reference. If you get that reference, let me know in the comments down below. But also let me know, would you like to see Mario and Luigi return and potentially come to the big screen for the first time? Because I think it's a game that definitely deserves it. 
hopefully it turns out better than Pokemons have when going into the big screen. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Alrighty, so there's a little two pack of stories for you here, not two pock, RIP. Funny story, in college, um, in my English course, I actually did my thesis on why Tupac was not dead. I, I uh, theorized that he was still alive. I used a lot of quotes from various songs that he was on that sort of predicted his demise. I used quotes from the, the one with... Um, uh, thug love with bone thugs and harmony where you hear someone whispering something in the background it kind of sounds like he's alive he's alive he's alive so yeah I, I got a good grade but i mean i really shouldn't have because it looks like he's not alive let me know what you think of everything in the comments section down below and as always guys thank you for checking out this video subscribe if you're new go watch the gran turismo 2 video just put it on in the background you can just listen to it i don't care i that video deserves to do better i tried in that video I tried so hard and got so far. And in the end, it doesn't even matter. Fun fact, I don't really like Linkin Park. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.